the main thing that I've been working on since the last time I was here is a notion that uh, I call and other people call ubiquitous learning. Um, and by that we mean that learning is no longer, especially with technology and wireless connectivity, learning is no longer an, a, an experience or activity that's limited to formal educational institutions, but it's now happening in many places, in the home, in the workplace, in the coffee house, um, and for young people especially, the mobility and portability of these devices means that learning also becomes an anytime, anywhere activity. We traditionally think about the distinction between formal and informal education, uh, what happens in schools and what happens other places. I think increasingly we need to see these things in a relationship to each other and to rethink school activities in relationship to what's happening in these other environments and in the other direction for the schools to bring experiences and learning that takes place in the other, these other environments into the classroom and into the school, especially for high school students and adolescents. Or the idea of a wheel with spokes, with the school is the hub of the wheel, and the spokes connect that hub to the, these other learning environments. And these other spaces are different, but the school is the one place that they share. The tremendous research opportunity that you have to study what's happening in this transformed learning environment and to look at new forms of learning, new ways in which students collaborate and work with each other, what it actually means in a, to changing the process of learning when we put it in this ubiquitous sort of multi-dimensional, multi-faceted uh, uh, context. As learning becomes more social and more collaborative, um, does that change the motivation of learners to, um, to think beyond um, learning this for myself or learning this because I'm going to be graded on it to a, a, a more collective sense of learning together um, and sharing our learning with each other. That's certainly what's happening on the World Wide Web more generally. Um, uh, and I think that there, there hasn't been a lot of investigation as far as I know about how the learning process itself and the motivational process it, itself changes for young people who are thinking about this learning in this set of social relationships. The second motivational question is uh, what, uh, again, I don't know what the expression is in Spanish, but in English it's situated learning. That is, learning in the context of situations or problems that one faces immediately and then applying the learning that one takes to that specific problem or situation that people are dealing with. That I think also leads to a different kind of motivational structure because I'm not learning something in context A and then applying it to context B. I'm often learning it in the context, whether it's the workplace or whatever, that I immediately need that in 